Hey, what's good? Shalom. I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh. By some Yahweh Shai. By some Rekach Das. I'm going to say Shalom. Double honor to the apostles. The great millstone. They the ones that taught us this truth. And Shalom told you Akim. All the brethren out there teaching the truth the right way, not the wrong way. But once again, we out here in Columbus, Ohio. And we just about to bring out some scriptures. What you got? What's your girl look like Big Bird? So I like holding the camera better. Why does she look like Big Bird though? Like the Ecclesiastes 7. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. A good name is better than precious ornament, and the day of death better uh, uh, than the day of one's birth. Oh, I said the day of death. He said the day of death is better than your birth. Is that why right? you'd be better off dead out here? You know what I mean? Hey, it's like that one scripture uh, He that loves his life shall lose it. But he that hates his life, shall have life eternal. Yeah, because this life is trash, bro. Oh, you got to read that one. That's a fire scripture. It says, a good name is better than precious ornament, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Yeah, you better off dead than living out here in this shit. You know? What does it say, too, about a good name? Yeah, a good name is better than precious ornament. Right, because you... How do you get a good name, though? by doing this work. He says, it's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, but that is the end of all men, and the living late will, uh, will lay it to his heart. And his sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the consciousness, the heart is made better. Yeah, you can't tell these people that they always want to be happy. They always want to be joyful. You know, people talking about, I I'm depressed. I gotta do some drugs. Everybody always got to give me turn up. They got to turn up. They go get their little bullshit drink. I don't even want to drink or do no drugs or nothing just because two-thirds does it. I don't want to be like them. Because, you know, our people, they don't ever want to be clean and sober, do they? Never, never, ever. I tell you, they weak-minded motherfuckers. Sometimes, I don't know. Well, obviously, you got to... But, yeah, you got to... You gotta, you guys to get you a little sip every once in a while. Sometimes you gotta let the fucking the, uh, the pain in. You gotta let. You can't just drink every single time you feel oh, yep. uh, hurt inside and shit. You can, sometimes you gotta let that. Cause I'm read the part again. It says it's good to be angry. Yeah, cause it says sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the continence, the heart is made better. Like you look at uh, examples where people may came from the uh, slums or whatever from the ghetto, and now they might uh, come up big or whatever cases. You know what I'm saying? But the, you look at a little rich, not even those kid, he never really been through nothing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So he had no experience, but somebody that went through experience and went through a lot of hard shit, you know what I'm saying? Their, uh, their, their heart is made better. And that's why two people always be like, if everybody smoked weed, it'd be a peaceful world. Because you know, because that's true though, like when you smoke, we don't need a peaceful world. Why you want to be at peace with your enemy that's trying to kill you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why you want to be at peace with the devil? So you need to be angry. Because that you smoke that weed, that suppresses that anger. And you need that anger. Because everybody was that's actually why we part of the reason everybody's a fucking lackadaisical out here. You know what I mean? Cause you know weed too, you know that uh weed lowers your testosterone levels. You know that? I've been doing a lot of research on it. I mean it's a good medicine and stuff. And it's good to get, you know. I guess, but Jake don't use it as a medicine. He uses it to fucking act retarded. You know what I mean? Yeah, but weed lowers your testosterone levels. It actually makes you more effeminate. And it makes you soft. It makes you all peaceful. Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? It makes you a bitch. I mean, I don't want to say it like that. What's that word though? Uh, apathetic. That's a, You know what I mean? It makes you just, you don't want to do nothing about nothing. You know what I mean? So I know I've done smoke plenty of weed, bro. And I know that weed, that suppresses your anger. It makes you all happy. So, man, you can't be all happy all the time and be at peace with everybody all the time. Sometimes you got to let your anger out. It's good to be angry. Hold on. Look at this. 
scripture real quick. The scripture says that. I mean, there's a difference between just raging on everybody for no reason, like some road rage, and you just losing your goddamn mind for no reason. That's one thing. But you're supposed to be mad. What's that, uh... Oh, the script. Would surely oppression make a wise man mad? Oh, we're about to get to that. Man. Yeah. Let me get a picture real quick. You ain't supposed to be happy out here that we living all fucked up and shit. They putting fluoride in the water. Teaching your children all this bullshit in the schools. Teaching your children it's okay to be a homosexual. Making them accept all this faggot shit. Teaching them that the Most High ain't real. Disrespecting the Most High's laws. So you're supposed to be angry over that. What's that? What you got? It's Ephesians 4 and 20, uh, 20, 20, uh, 6. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Yeah, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So some good anger is good. What's up, bro? It's good to have some good righteous anger. There's a scripture on that. Hey, the scripture says, oh, get a... Uh, uh, that song's, uh, we can get back to that, hold that seven, though. Were you on seven? Yeah. Go get that, uh, song's one, uh, 30, is that 139? You know how that David, song with David, when he's like, I hate my enemies? How you doing? What's the Lord? You're teaching the scriptures? You believe in the Bible? Yes. Alright. We about to read the scripture for you. Go ahead. The, uh, Psalms 139, and, uh, I'm gonna start at 21. It says, Are you not, trying to get dry? Are you good? Go ahead. To not hate them, oh Yahweh, that hate thee. And I'm not I'm grieved with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Yeah, so well, that's the Psalm of David, right? And he said he hates the, the enemies of the Lord, just like we hate the enemies of the Lord. You know, people out here down that love spirit, you gotta love everybody. But the scriptures don't, no, the scripture said that I hate my enemies. We hate those that hate the Lord, you know? That's the oh, way you my, get, huh? My, I mean, uh, what's my uh, look, it's time to get the, the spirit up in you. Oh, you go right there, right there on that billboard. No more umbrella. Yeah, King David, he said, uh, I'm greedy with those that rise up against you. You greed to somebody, that somebody's irritating you, somebody's making you pissed off. Fuck you. What's good? I was good. Saying so, like, but the same spirit he's supposed to be because King David, he's a, uh, the, he's a man, he's a uh, the man of the Lord's heart. We got we got to be of his example because he, you know, he's ruling the, uh, the house of David. You almost had me a boo right there. You ain't see that? It's like that. Oh, oh, we, oh you got one of those are the nice ones right there. Yeah, I just found that picture. You can hang those on everything. That's a good try. I had one, but I broke it. That's good for your bike, too. You can wrap it right on your handlebars. It's kind of nice. Yeah, those are dope. That's why I'm pissed. I ain't been doing no bike videos. I've been using electrical tape to tape my uh, camera to my bike. MacGyver was a motherfucking joke. Oh, MacGyver? Yeah, the real MacGyver. Hey, Jake is MacGyver, though. Where you get that word? Uh, that old word they call nigger rigging something. Because Jake was good at rigging shit up, you know what I mean? If I look up what's your boy's name. The guy who made everything out of peanuts, George Washington Carver. What'd he make? He made like a 90 different inventions out of peanuts. That's crazy. Out of fucking peanuts. All he had to work with was, was peanuts. That's it. Uh, we was just going into the uh, the hatred and how he's supposed to hate our enemies. Need umbrella. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> I Forget something? You like me? We forgot the fucking tripod. First, I forgot the camera. Well, use mine. You don't need it? Oh, use it. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm using my phone. Oh, you can just hang that straight on the bars back there. I'm using my phone. Oh, phone. My fucking camera. I don't know what's wrong with it, man. I don't know what's wrong with my fucking camera. Is it your vibe? It's recording the shit, but it's not uploading no more. For some, I ain't never adjust nothing. You know, ever since I uh, uh, programmed it to the internet, you know, so it can get the Wi-Fi and shit, yeah. that's when everything started. Hey, we hold this for a second? Every fucking thing. That's all right, bro. I see, there's a battle-worn tripod right here. 
Yeah, this is crazy. That, those are fucking dope. You can hang on, hang it right on your uh, rear view mirror while you're driving. Yeah. You can hang on to anything. Damn. That's how Jake be making porn in all them crazy places. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, you got the top piece? That's on your camera, ain't it? Oh, uh, no. The part that screws on the camera. Oh, I got electrical tape. I'll tape it on there. <laughs> you know how I do it. I'm continuing this. This is uh back to, back to uh Ecclesiastes 7 and uh oh. Ecclesiastes 7 and um I, st I left off of verse 4. It says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. That's all you hear out here is the song of fools. All these people out here yapping and crackling and hackling, talking about how they're going to hit a lick. They ain't got no knowledge. Only knowledge they got is what? About the top 10 best rappers. That's their knowledge. There's some bullshit that don't even matter. It says, uh, for as the crackling of thorns under a pot. Crackling, that's what they sound like, it's some crackling. You hear them talk? Ain't nothing changed, ain't nothing new under the sun. Like, people didn't sound like jackasses 2,000 years ago. You know? Hey, it works though, shit. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get all on here. You know, the screw part, I think I took that off because it came with two of them. Because I don't need it. Yeah. Like, you know, so I, I clamp it. It's all right. It worked. It's good. It says, where has the crack of the thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. So this is also is vanity. That's vanity. It says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. Yeah, surely oppression make a wise man mad. Like, I've been crazy. I've been re actually ready to crack some muddy fucking skulls the past weekend. You know, people, like I told you, I was arguing with people over the legal marriage. People was telling me that Elvis Presley was a pedophile because he married a 14 year old. You know, I fucking lost my shit on him, you know what I mean? But they'll say you're a pedophile. They'll say, if you get with a woman that's 17 years old in 11 months, not 18 yet, if she's 17 years old in 11 months, you're a pedophile. And not until the very day she turns 18, is she a woman. She's already a homebody. Exactly. Hey, What's can you tell me back to Van Buren at 5 o'clock? What's that? Can you tell me back to Van Buren at 5 o'clock? Martin Van Buren? Van Buren Shuffer. Now, we out here making a video. How long you gotta wait? Well, I'm a, we're not, we don't have the delivery service. We don't give rides to people. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. We out here making a video. So I'm sorry, we gotta continue in our lesson, okay? Right. It, it'd be different if you was listening to the scriptures. But you gotta listen to the scriptures. That's what we out here for. All right? Gotta give us some space. So get out the circle. All right. I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. We out here making a video. We out here for a purpose, okay? We're on a mission to go. Yeah, we on a mission. What was, what was she talking about? She got interrupted. See, she messed up the spirit. Oh, but yeah, just shit like that. Everybody want to come against the laws of the Most High. It just make you, make you go crazy. Just like that, script, that scripture he read in the book. What was that, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7? You actually go crazy, bro, dealing with these people out here. They don't want to listen to nothing. But they'll listen to some, uh, they'll listen to their favorite rapper talk about, I fucked your bitch. I'm like, oh, that was fire. They'll say that was fire. But if you read a scripture, oh, that's some bullshit, you know? I got two scriptures real quick. They're real close to each other. It's uh, Psalms 119 and, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, 139. It says, my zeal have consumed me 
because my enemies have forgotten thy words. Right, so the zeal of the Most High consumes us. So that's why we are here on the streets teaching his word in all boldness. All right, we tired of hearing people run their mouth, running their jibs, you know, blaspheming the Lord. That makes us angry. That makes us want to go nuts, on, you know what I mean? Go ahead. This is, uh, this is down to 158. It says, I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Yeah, yeah, because they ain't keeping the word of the Most High. Huh? Look at this shit, it irritates Yeah, it's ir it irritates man. It makes you want to fight. I try to stay spiritual, bro. So people be talking that bullshit. And then they start calling you names. Like, they told me to call me a pedo. Because I said it was okay to have sex with a 17 year old girl. They ain't called the people that made a, uh, 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 the show, uh, uh, Game of Thrones. They ain't called them the pedophiles for showing it, uh, actual history. When that one bitch, she had a period. Oh, and, yeah. You know, this, yeah, it's why she tried to hide it. Like, I, cause when she, cause it's, they know when you're on your period, that, that's when you be able to, to reproduce and shit. They showed that on the show. They ain't nobody had no outrage about that. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking history. It happened. So common, it was a common fucking practice in the ancient world. Common goddamn practice. Why else? It still is a movies, common man? practice. You know, the movie Color Purple when Whoopi's ugly ass came of age. You know, she married an old ass motherfucker, Danny Glover, man. But how many famous Jakes you know that when they was born when their mom was what, 14, 15? Mm -hmm. I was just watching an interview today, man. Who was it? Uh, LeBron James' mom was real young. I could go with a bunch of people's moms was real young when they had them. Both my kids' moms were 16. So what am what what I pedophile now? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you a pedophile. I even got arrested, you know? Charged with, um, um, uh, damn, I can't remember what the charge was. Contributing to a minor or some shit like that, man. But they, the parents didn't have no choice but to throw it out, man, because her daughter, their daughter was down there starting to cuss their asses out, man. In the court, at the courthouse. Because yeah, you know, in most states, you can get married at like 14, 15. With a parental or judicial consent. That's crazy as fuck. So they know that's right, though, you know? Like 24, you can have sex with a 60 year old. Yeah. On up. As long as you like 24. That's why they call it statutory rape and not just what, uh, child molestation. I think they lowered it now. Yeah, they don't I think they just lowered it this year to 15? Yeah. 14 or 15. I can't remember, man. Being a pedophile is when you have sex with a pre. How you say that? Pre pubescent child or somebody they ain't hit puberty yet. Right. Now, that's insult to them, man. Breaking these goddamn little boys and yeah. little children, baby. Now that's some faggot shit. Right. Now that's something you get put to death for. Yeah, this is his kingdom. Only, only he can do that in his kingdom. That's why the Lord gave us power, bro. We're gonna be fucking these people up, man. Why do you think the Lord called these motherfucking white red motherfuckers hypocrites? Hypocrites, man. Yeah, Charge you for the same shit they doing on a regular fucking basis. Fucking their own children, you know? Shit. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? To make you angry, man. I've been angry as fuck over. I'm still angry over that this weekend. I'm like, you know, arguing on the internet, like, oh, bro. I mean, I'll give you my address and everything. We can leave right now. Talking that shit, you know what I mean? You know, people get bold on the internet. You know, they just feel like they can say whatever they want, just running their mouth, like it, like it, like the internet's not real life. But the Most High gonna get them, bro. You know, it's hard to stay. It's, you know, we say you gotta stay spiritual, right? That's hard to do sometimes. Sometimes you just want to choke somebody. What's that scripture? Give you the neck of thy enemy. Uh, Fire. I'm sure they both fire. Yeah, the one you live. Well, there's a. I got a bunch of scriptures in my head. There's this one to uh, the man to live to see the death of his enemy. That's in that box. Look at that car. It's gonna look bad on me. Trash coffee lid. It's gonna click back for you. Does it? Oh, oh, here we go. Jeremiah 16 and 16. 
Thus saith the Lord Power, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old path, where is the good way and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. Yeah, and, you know, first of all, we under captivity, so yeah. we ain't gonna be out here crying and shit. What can I fuck with that 12 year old girl, you know? I mean, you're supposed to be wise in the month. You should be dealing with somebody around your age, any motherfucker. Right, right. You know? But, so we wait, we, we looking for that old, the old ways, man. But they expect you to you jump know? in and condemn somebody if they do do. Right, right. You know? Right. Because right. I'm like, yeah, right. We're not out here fucking with little teenagers and shit. They know this. God damn. Man, these young girls these days, man, are trifling, man. Yeah, they really are trifling. You know, the young girls are actually worse than the older girls, man. Way worse, man. These young bitches going around burning every motherfucking body. The older women got the least of sense enough to clean their shit up, man. Or at least, well, you know, I'm going off now. <laughs> you know, they at least try to clean their shit up. There you go, the word try. They want to set, they want to settle down. Right. But in this old, the old past is, you know, my, not being condemned for a righteous act, you know. No, I don't want to say righteous act, but a lawful yeah, deed. Yeah, a lawful, a lawful, lawful. A lawful deed, you know. Captivity is a motherfucker, man. They try to... Try to say anybody's a pedophile. You had some if you had sex with somebody that under the age of 18, you're a pedophile. Well, how stupid is that? That's not a pedophile. These young girls supposed to be under suggestion. Yeah, how old do you what what age is most women when the first time they had sex? How old are they? Maybe young as fuck. All of them. Maybe young as fuck, man. It's very rare to find a woman that that's a real virgin, man. <laughs> Shit. That's rare as fuck, man. Well, I'll tell you, bro, anybody call me a pedophile, bro, like, they're gonna say to my face, hey, I'm sorry, you're gonna get punched in your face. Uh, yeah, whatever you got. Well, let him finish that up. And ye shall find rest for your soul, but they said, we will not walk therein. Yeah, so we're gonna find rest our soul by following the old paths, which is the traditions of the Israelites, the laws, the statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Now the new, what's the new paths? You gonna follow the new paths? Or what's that? You go get your. It's cool to go get your dick chopped off and call yourself a woman. Yeah, the new path is an androgynous way. You're being an androgynous no. demon. It's your God. Your God isn't androgynous. You gonna tattoo a big ass you know? 69 right on your forehead. And look like a pack of Skittles. That's the new way. Then you'll be accepted. That's cool to do that. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll take up for him. They said he was a pedophile. So he said they said he had sex with a 16-year-old or something. Who? 69 Takashi, that rapper. They said he was a pedophile because he had sex with a 16-year-old. Yeah, he looked like a trainee. Some other dude got caught. Oh, you know, you know they going both ways, man. You know, like we always mention, man, the uh, the, the, uh, the limitations of the of the wicked are two thirds. There is none, you know. The trainings is the new thing, though. Yeah, yeah. It's hot. It's yeah, hot. it's hot. I mean, it's cool to get trainings now. It's a hot trend going on. Now, if you get blown by a train, they're like, oh man, can I have her next? Hey, can let me get her number. They, they want to get next. Yeah, these people are nasty now, man. You see the new age of rappers? All the new rappers are all emo. The mumble rappers, they all emo. Like, you seen your boy, what's his name? Uh, uh, Lil Uzi Vert. You seen him, right? He's a little weirdo. A little get, a gay little fucking weirdo. The um, emo, emotional weirdo. And they rap about their feelings. That ain't they, you, I don't want to know none of them motherfuckers uh, on You will watch this shit, you won't believe it. Or uh, you, oh, I know, I, I, I know. And the other one, they got his other uh, rapper, his name's Lil Yachty. <laughs> you see Lil Yachty? He actually talks like he got nuts stuck in his mouth. Right. I mean, I was nuts like fuck working, cleaning somebody's crib, and they, oh, that's, what, that's what they had. Oh, I can't tell them to turn that shit off, man. You know, I was like, whoa, God damn, this shit is terrible. It's terrible, and they're, it's, they're all fat. They're like, terrible. Is, you can be an open homosexual rapper now. Yeah. You can be an open homosexual military, politicians now. They bragging about the first open uh, gay fucking congressman and governor. They got trannies running for office. Fucking crazy. Then a tranny become a mayor or governor or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they got that Wait a minute, he resigned though. He resigned though. Yeah, he resigned though. Not for that reason though. It's for other shit. What'd you say? Uh, 
did that show, uh, Supergirl. I try to watch it, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't do it no more. But yeah, girl, yeah, Kara L. They, they had her beat up, uh, they had, they had her beat up, uh, beat, uh, Superman's ass and shit. Like, yeah, I went to like, Superman, I went to Superman, I went to Superman. And they about to have a, they about to have a training on the show, something like that, okay? Superhero, right, right, right. Well, they 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 retroactively making uh old superheroes gay now, like uh Iceman. They're yeah. one of the original members of the X Men. Well, they started with Batman. The first time I ever seen it was with Batman. Well, well Batman had his little faggot sidekick. We been... personally, I ain't a bullshit man. Every last seat. Every, all of them seem faggish anyway, the characters. All that tight shit? All of them seem faggish, man. All of them do. Except Dr. Doom. Oh, uh, Doc, <laughs> Dr. Doom wanted to kill everybody. <laughs> That's crazy, though. The cartoons you carry is serious. But your boy Spider-Man had two girlfriends. He, he was... <laughs> Which one? The new one or the old Back in the old day, he had Gwen Stacy. He was always battling. He went, Who was he going to... He didn't know which one to choose. Gwen See, Stacey. Peter has some pussy? Yeah, Peter is getting some pussy. His name's Peter. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was irritating though, guys. That's the spirit. I, I was just, I was just watching all the Spider-Man movies and shit. Like last week, whatever. And then every like they keep showing that adultery shit. Like, God, can I enjoy the watching the show? Yeah, they always, yeah, it's got shit. adultery. Like he gonna take some used up pussy. Yeah. All the same thing with Superman was getting some used. Lois Lane was. A, he was a used up. She was a used up hoe by the time Superman. By the time Superman. Shit. Every single show. Like he's like the he's the geek and the bitch. He, you know, what I'm saying he likes his one bitch, but she always got another man. He ain't treating her right. Come on, bro. I hate that shit, man. But, that's why I say Victor Von Doom. Yeah, that's that's the that's right my spirit. My favorite character, one of my all-time favorite characters. He is in the right spirit. Yeah, he really was. He, really he had that ruined class mentality. <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to overthrow this shit. He's he gonna he gonna rule the world with a rod of iron, just like the scripture said, with an iron fist. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ecclesiastes one and seventeen, and I gave my heart to know wisdom. And to know madness and folly. Yeah, madness. And, that's what we talking about. All this madness and folly. This is madness out here. Madness. It's a it's mad. A what's that movie? It's a mad, mad world. It's fucking madness out here, bro. It's the way. It's the way of the world. It's fucking madness. Confusion. Hey, y'all supposed to come out of this madness, man. Yeah, this is you madness. Know? The scripture says, "Come out of her, my people." <laughs> supposed to come out of the world, man. What was that? A Puerto Rican girl? Oh, it's a little cute though, right? I'm talking about the dude. I'll tell you something about that little Puerto Rican girl. Oh, you see? Oh, he looks like Cardi B. Cardi B. With the lump on the handle without the lump. Oh, yeah, she got the lump. You see that? With or without the lump. Did you see the memes on the lump? Oh, I've been killing the comic books, man. Oh, uh, shit. I've been killing the comic books. What the hell was it? Somebody gave her a lump? She got into it with, with the Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Nicki got Minaj. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucked her up with her heels. They Don't. try to say that the uh, bodyguards didn't. Uh, Nikki, Nikki got her, didn't it? She leave them over the hoes alone, man. Yeah. You know, Nick, she probably be a young bitch, man. Nikki oh, done been around. Yeah, she been around. Right, right, right. She been around. Yeah, you right, though. Old hoes beat your ass. Fucking damn shame, man. And here they are, rich and famous, all got it going on in the world. Here they fighting amongst each other and shit. <laughs> That's just funny. Right. Fucking stupid, man. <laughs> or again, like what we're talking about, these women, man, how they got all this liberty, they got all this freedom to do the fuck they want. They don't even know how to fucking act, man. And like I said, we're watching that video, those videos of that fool's crib, man. That uh, 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 Nicki Minaj video, the new one came on. The one with baby doll or some shit, man. Oh, that's I was I was just hearing the lyrics. I was like, God. Damn. What's one? He's the one you talking about. What you talking about fucking and making oh, motherfuckers yeah. eat her pussy and. I ain't never listened to the bitch before. I ain't Ooh. never listened to That's the all she talks about. I ain't never listened to the shit, man. Oh, her name's Nikki Minaj. Right. Like Minaj et I had to, I, I couldn't help but to listen to the lyrics, and I was just tripping. Fucking, she done fuck all kind of, all kind of other rappers, man. But that, if she don't rap about that, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna sell she no She ain't selling no shit. She ain't gonna sell no yep. And that's the thing with these women. These women love hearing that control and, and dominating the man. You just know? like that Beyonce. Reverse role. Reverse you know, Beyonce man. don't write nothing. They probably, I bet Nicki Minaj don't write her own shit either. Oh, I, 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 I believe that. He probably okay. got some, but, you know, you he probably know. got some fake Jew devil. Right. We know Beyonce don't write her own shit. Right, right. And, right. and all her songs are about leave your man. Right, you know? right. Uh, and that started in the fucking 90s, too. 
Even that, what's that one bitch, the most Taylor Swift? Is that her name, Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. Yeah. All her shit's about adultery too, about pretty, how many dudes she fucked. Pretty ass Swift. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a legitimate pretty bitch in the industry though. Nicki Minaj is too though, even yeah. without her makeup. She's yeah, she actually pretty. pretty bitch, man. Yeah. That's rare having a pretty bitches, man. Even though they, they transform with all that makeup. <laughs> Hell yeah, Taylor Swift. <laughs> She out selling them all. You know she ain't right her shit. Nah, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> Taylor Swift. That yeah, it's all, that's what the producers and shit, they... That's they, some common practice in Israel, though. Especially in the music, R&B, rock and roll. That shit started long ago, man. Motherfuckers still rock, keep the music. Oh, shit. yeah, they still it. Or, you know, or somebody right. You got Ghost Rider. There's a book out called... A book out called Cultural Madness. Now, the black artists, black artists write music in give it to the white artists. You take credit for it, the writing, and everything. Even, Elvis, even though Elvis was a Jake, but uh, he had his one black dude, I forget his name, that's awful. But, but you know Elvis' oh, his Elvis name, though. All of them but, but, back but then, he would just sell the song to Elvis. Yeah, because it's the face that's so back then. The yeah, faces. it's all so about the product. Right, right. Thought it's a two book series. Yeah, because you know that song, Don't Be Cruel, is written by a black guy. guy. It's written by a Judite. Good. Don't be cruel. That was, it was a, a, a Judai broke that song. They got uh, videos. You can look up YouTube. Uh, they got him performing that song. But he said he loved Elvis stuff. Yeah, that's a common fucking practice. Common practice. Jake's wicked ass won't do that. Jake just take full credit for it too. Even what's your boy that wrote uh, wrote all the Temptation songs? Uh, Smokey Robinson. Didn't he write most of the Temptation songs? Smokey Robinson. Yeah. yeah. Smokey did a lot of work. He was a major writer. And Smokey was a major writer. He wrote for a lot of motherfuckers. Marvin yeah. Gaye wrote for a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, he sure did, did But you know, hey, how I look at it, Jake is Jake, man. Let him do it. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, let him perform that shit. Let him do it. But you don't go as far as being a little fucking claim you wrote that shit, but you gotta. Yeah, taking people's credit. Back to the gym. You know, you know, Prince was on. You know how Lord Mayweather is his own uh, promoter. Yeah. Chris was that same, he was the only one music in, in that same position, started promoting his own shit. Started doing his own. They had to take That's why he changed his name, because it was over him trying to own his name. Yeah, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He started using it again though. That's some that music industry is some dirty shit. But Jake knows how wicked it is. Jake knows how you gotta sell your fucking soul. Jake don't give a fuck. Jake just see the <laughs> oh. uh, Jeremiah 11 and 7, this is what I was hoping for a long time, so it's kind of... Are you good? Yeah. For I earnestly protest unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice, yet they obey not, nor incline their ear, but walk everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. Yeah, everybody want to follow after their own heart. You know, I actually say that. Uh, you don't need to follow that Bible. You got to follow your heart. Do what your heart says is right. But your heart, but that really means your mind. What you thinking in your head. Now, these people's heads is all fucked up. They're all whacked out on drugs. Most people's whacked out on some kind of antidepressant pills. Especially these women. These women quick to get in prescription. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. Go to the doctor, get doped up on all kind of pills. Did you see that? It was just to upload like a couple of days ago. Dude beat the shit out of his bitch. He caught her stealing his Xanax. Over some Xanax. He caught her stealing his Xanax. He needed them Xanax. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he can't live without them. Hell no. That's he, crazy. Yeah, these dope things, that dope will fuck you, fuck you up. Hey, you, but your mind mentally becoming dependent. Yeah, physically and mentally. Shit. I see people go nuts over weed. Yeah, yeah, over weed. People yeah. try to say, oh, weed ain't addictive. You out your, I see people go fucking bonkers when they didn't have weed. They go, they start raging. 
start throwing shit, punching holes in the wall. <laughs> like, bro, it's just weed. You fucking flipping out. So you know how bad they get over some heroin, some Xanaxes, some pills, some perks. They'll fucking flip the fuck out. Alcohol too? Oh, alcohol. Actually, you get the shakes from that shit. Mm -hmm. You get sick. That's a lot of shit. Yeah, I, I know I know a lot of people like that. They wake up with the shakes. Got to drink. Maybe drink from their first beer too. Fuck the system fucked up. Yeah, you got to drink a lot of alcohol to get the shakes. That's crazy. Man. Like, you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That's years of drinking. The sun up the sun down. Yeah. Years of sun up the sun down. I don't know how they can do it. The I'll be passed out. Oh, yeah, I can't handle my liquor no more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn into a lightweight. <laughs> I'll be puking and all kind of shit. Like I'm, you know how when you like a little kid, you drink, you be puking. That's how I am now. Cool, yeah, I, I like having a very low tolerance. You ain't gotta spend all too much money to get. Oh, that's up. true. No low tolerance. I would get fucked up just off a couple of sips. Oh, and niggas is beating it up. They eating that ass and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like that fried ice cream, man. They love that fried ice cream. Did she say she loved us? Yeah. Fried ice cream chase. Doo doo chase. I think he came off the bus on a man in here. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 that nigga look like he just transformed into a hawk. Right. Tranny hawk. <laughs> that was a big tranny, too. That motherfucker raped you. <laughs> a big tranny. Oh, that bus driver got his number. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like God. <laughs> oh, he's a he, think, he, think, right he think he cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh God, where you at, God? I bet God don't even watch the videos of oh, nothing. Where y'all at? Yeah. And you know that, Because the Texans are so. So they, they literally running away from us. Oh shit, like we was doing it last week, turning their back. They turned their back on the car, you know. That's fucked up, man. You know how much anger that'll bring to a motherfucking people. Bring the how I died on the tree, man. For our sins to bring us back into his fold. And these motherfuckers get a taste of this, this, this delicious, this deliciousness. This and, roll. And, 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 and desire to go back to that, eating that swine, man. <laughs> it's crazy as fuck. You have people that actually will literally go back and start eating pork again. Yep, yep. I, you know, I, I, I stopped eating pork before I even came in the truth. I knew that shit wasn't right. You gotta do a smell. Yeah, you just smell that shit. I knew that wasn't right because it fucked my stomach up every time I ate it. I'm like, why am I getting sick every time I eat this shit? All right, the last time I ate pork, it was a pepperoni pizza, bro. I was tossing and turning all night. Felt like I had a war going on in my stomach. That's what it was. There's some dude to warn me. I think he was a Muslim. He, he got on me one day for eating pork. Like, why you eating that nasty ass swan? I should have listened to him. My, my, health, my health improved greatly since that day. Damn yeah, right. Go a little further. Flush yourself. Kill them parasites, make you feel even better. Man. Yeah. Jose, at 114.4, I will heal. I will heal their back, their backsliders. I will love them. That shit is tripping. This rain got my shit tripping. I know the fuck up that screen and everything. Fucking moisture. So much. Oh, on a rainy day. It's been raining the past two days out here teaching. That's a spirit though, ain't it? It does feel good out here. Can't grow without that rain. Ooh. Second Chronicles 29 and 6 for our fathers have trespassed and done that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord our power and have forsaken him and have turned away their faces from the habitations of the Lord and turned their backs. That's the majority of people out here. Yeah. They turned it back on the Lord. 
What is it? Mainly speaking on these brothers that was trained to be in the Oh, movie. yeah. I forgot we just talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's vexing on that show, man. That's our job is to vex them even fucking more. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to go as far as start naming videos after motherfuckers, man. Huh. <laughs> so we can get it. You know? All right. Oh, yeah, man. I might do that. Yeah, I, I ain't even heard a peep from the guys or nothing. You think they would find a channel or something? Yeah, they always thought we was cool. Yeah, they probably just think I'm crazy. We always thought we was cool. Yeah. You know? We always thought we was cool, man. You know? Ain't that? hair It's silicone. The water air goes, the water goes right through. So it's going to maintain its look. That's not even real. You don't know how ridiculous he looks. It's plastic. <laughs> He's gonna maintain his, his body. She probably thinks she's Nicki Minaj. Yeah. That's who she got inspired by. Yeah. Nicki and now Cardi. Nicki, she all, she washed up now. Ass. You know, all that shit pumping pump in their ass. They don't even think about that when they get old, man. They gonna be walking around with the nasty looking asses that old women. Man. Like the, what, the Kardashian bitches? The press and shit. This man's just fucked, man. Because you know, when these women get older and older, they lose more and more muscle tone. And that old look affect them more than a man. You think it's more obvious than a man, man. These bitches got handles and titty implants. Titty implant. I like some little titties, bro. Then you ain't got to make them bigger for me. You ain't got to fuck with them. Uh, if they little, they little, bro. I, I still play with them. As long as that nibble's still there, it's something. Oh, they cute when they little shit. The Lord made you do it. The, what they say? The Lord, <laughs> you're special the way you are. Everybody, the Lord made everybody special. <laughs> There's something like you know how they say. What's it? Where's that in there? What's my song? It tells me how spiritual power to make her to a oh yeah to move her body to a move her body. Oh, let me find it. Let me see Man, shit, camera getting wet. Damn it. This rain is good, man. It, it, it gives, it's, it, it, it got a, its own vibration of gloominess and darkness. I, and I gloom. like that gloom. I love it, man. Shit, but the rain bringing life. You can't have life with no water. Dude, people look depressed in the rain, too. You know they hate water. They like the Wicked Witch of the West. You know they hate water. She got hit with that water, bro. She shriveled up. She got melted. Sister. This is, does it mention sister in that picture? Sister? I'm not sure. Sister that can hold no water? I know that. No, I'm talking about the one that wish they saw it. I'm not sure. I'm afraid to get my body. I'm going to get my phone by Oh, man. For real. The Bibles ain't cheap either. You gotta get lucky to find a, a cheap one. Oh, here, the Song of Solomon. We have a little sister and she have, and she hath no breast. What shall we do for our sister in the day that she shall be spoken to? If she be a wall, we will build upon her a palace of silver. Not bad. Okay. And if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of sea. We are gonna build her up. Build her up. Yeah. Give her them beautiful hips. I love thick thighs and hips, man. I love thick thighs and hips, man. I require that. I can have a flat chested bitch all she wants, man. She got big booty and thighs, man. That hey. shit is feminist as hell. Man. Yeah, them hips, boy. That's where it's at. The hips. What's up, man? Hey, 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 bro. But nowadays, you see bitches where their hips, like. They don't have them big old fat rolls that go wider than the hips. There's no separation in there. Yeah. It goes straight down. There's no separation in there. That's that tire. That's that tire. Tire, yeah. She got a tire. Yeah. Hey, you she know got that a flat port. tire. That's where you know that port. Drinking all that Mountain Dew. No discipline at all, man. You, you, you would think once you get up to 200 pounds, you 
You 5'4", you get up to 200, you should know in your mind, oh, I gotta do something about this. They can't stop. But they get, they get the alarm goes off at 320. <laughs> 320 pounds. Damn, that's when it goes off 320? <laughs> right. See, my oldest daughter, she got up to 260. It's like they don't stop smoking cigarettes till they catch cancer. Yep. yep oh, now yep, you got can yep. Now you got emphysema. Oh, now it's time to stop. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. You got to use the mic to talk. You know what I mean? That's crazy as fuck. But it says. Oh, that was internet. That was internet. Rain's coming down, boy. I am a wall in my breast like towers of his eyes and his eyes as one that found me. Move this up in here close to it. That's crazy to tell. That's an odd sight to see a woman that's 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, over 200 pounds, man. Look, that's a strange fucking sight. Jake likes that though. I seen a porno video where they got videos of bitches farting on people. Uh, what they call face sitting. That's disgusting, man. People got some whacked out fucking. They, the doctors must have to because you know them doctors, them porn industry got actual doctors that work for them. Yeah. So whatever, you know them doctors prescribing them to shit to make them fart like that. What's good? I have no idea what he's talking about. That's it. Three, two, four. I'm sorry, 17 and skip down for 16 and skip down for four. Says that more for the Howard said because the daughters of Zion are hard seeing walk from stretch forth next to wanting eyes, walking and missing as they go, and making a ticking with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with the sky. Yeah, that's that make Nicki Minaj hoe right there, that Cardi B hoe right there. Walking, tinkling with their feet, they got all their little jewelry on. They little Versace, they got little Gucci bags, all their little bullshit. You know these bitches walk around broke as hell too. They got these fucking Captain Saber holes. You hook them up. Yeah. Everybody lives a, what's that? Everybody lives, their life is a lie. Everything about their whole image in there. Like you get on a bitch's Facebook page, you think she was a multi-millionaire, the most beautiful woman. According to her profile picture, the most beautiful woman in the world. She got a perfect life. She got all the finest things. And she, that bitch is a wreck. Go over that bitch's house. There's shit everywhere. Yeah, that shit, shit is a dump. Kids ain't home. <laughs> yeah, they, just, yeah they, they don't got custody of them more. Child kids support. Shit, the kids with grandma. Everybody living a lie, bro. Yep. Especially women. Especially women. They live, everything about their life is a lie. Fake eyelashes. It's a facade. Fake jewelry. How many times you met a bitch off the internet and you like, oh, you don't look nothing like your profile picture. They Ooh. use all, they get, they use every filter on the app. You know how they got the filters? Filter. They smooth the face out. Yeah, they, and they do that with the old ass pictures from the show. Yeah, they, they use them pictures, yeah, from five, oh, wait ten minute. years you, ago. You know gravity is their friend anyway. Oh, yeah, they take a picture up here. You know, all that fat shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every picture on it is a headshot. If you got an aerial view of picture, nah. You know, she about three, like you said, yep, about 320. Yep. Yeah, I gotta see the. I gotta see it, baby. I gotta see it. We got. We need full body pics. But well, you gotta be honest with you. you. Gotta be honest. Look, look. I want what I yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna be talking and hooking up, going out with just any motherfucking body. You go meet her. She get out of the car. Just fat rolls. Just blip, 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 dropping. Right. What world they living in? A man wants. He, he want to bend over what he like to bend over. He don't want to just bend over any motherfucking thing. You know, if you don't like me for who I am, then you can go to the next page. Well. <laughs> But well, there's plenty of them out there. Hell yeah. Hey, they got that website, Plenty of Fish. Yeah. There's plenty of, plenty of them. But unfortunately, the much majority of them feel like that. Yep. Get out the car, they're barely getting out first. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's funny as fuck though, man. That's disgusting. Like, bitch, you know you lying. <laughs> you know? And you're like, damn. Man, I, I, that's, the last, that's the last time I did it too, man. Hooked up with a fat bitch. 
This bitch in the car, man. Man, this shit was pretty as fuck. But I just wanted to get the fuck out the house for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this bitch in the car sweating her ass off. Sweat? <laughs> I had the arrow blasted on high, man. She was still sweating, man. Damn. That's that high blood pressure. <laughs> Shit. Well, from her car to my car, she's pulling down sweat, man. <laughs> yeah, this rain kicking ass today. Yeah, it's starting to come down, ain't it? Here comes the rain again. <laughs> That's my girl. That's a J, too. That's a J. That's my shit. What's his name in that group called? What is it? I don't even know that song. I don't. I probably maybe I hear it. Uh, 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 I can't remember. That. It's an '80s group, '70s '80s group. That's like that. It's a. Uh, they from uh, They from. They from England. They from England. It's a girl and a guy. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, let's run to my turn. Let me look it up. Let's uh, go, go back to how everybody lived a life of life. Shit, this is uh, Jeremiah 9 and 4. It says, Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in a brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk slander. And they will deceive every one of his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and women included. Yeah. Every, everything that I did life is a lie. Yeah. Everything. Your mom teaches me. Your arithmetic. Oh, yeah. The, I know that. Yeah, the, uh, that's where your girl, uh, Sweet Dreams, uh, Annie yeah. Lennox. Yeah. 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 That was my girl. Man, they, they, got some good ass, they got some good music. Yeah, I got all, I got all this shit on my phone. So I, like, I like those 80s drum machines and synths. Yeah, yeah. Man, that, that, what was coming back out of, out of Europe back then was some hot shit. Yeah, they was, they was on for that real, shit. For real, man. For real, that was some hot shit. Everybody that came out of Europe was on fire, man. Every Tears for Fears. Oh, that was a good shit. Yeah. A lot of hot shit, man. Oh, what about Duran Duran? Duran Duran, yeah. That was that shit. Yep, yep, yep. Hell yeah. I really like me some 80s music, though, like that. Oh, With the 80s drum machines. Boy, that's my yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's a hot shit, man. Jinx, man. Are you ice? Oh, I didn't eat a mics. Oh, there's an Edomites. Edomites. Annie Lennox is a goddamn cracker. You mean cracker. to tell me Esau can jam? Nah. <laughs> what about, change, what you got on? Oh. What about your boy, though? Your boy, uh, Billy Idol. Oh, that's my favorite right there. He's from England, ain't he? Yep, Scotland or what? Yep. England? Yep. Over there somewhere. So yeah. yeah. That's my favorite shit right there. Billy Idol. You that's got me here. shit. There's some of his shit. That's some bad shit, man. Go ahead, what you got? Uh-oh. It says, oh, I got a heavy dude in I can throw uh -oh. this motherfucker when I'm breaking the phone. They got a tough book. Yeah. They have taught their tongues to speak lies and worry themselves to commit iniquity. The habitations in the midst of the sea, to the sea, they refuse to know me, said Yahweh. They will go out their way to do it, to do wicked shit. What did it say? They wary themselves? Yeah, wary themselves. Yeah, they wary. I mean, they go out their way to do some wicked shit. That's crazy. You can't take a day off. That's crazy. Like, all these motherfuckers are thieves. Don't let them up in your house. Definitely don't go to Walmart with them. Oh, shit. Oh, man. You walking out the door, shit going off. And they take off running. And they leave you there. That's how they do it, too. <laughs> Tito. Tito. All these women are always getting caught stealing uh, mascara, hair dye. Yeah, but everything about these people's life is a lie, bro. They lie about everything. That's crazy. Dude, it should start when you were a little kid. You know, if you were going to school when you were little, and all the little kids at school lying up and everybody, they got every toy. Fuck, I've been to your house, bro. You ain't got shit. Y'all barely, you ain't got no food in the fridge. But they got, every, they claim they got every video game, every toy. This is Psalms 12 and 1. It says, help your hour for the godly man ceases. The godly man ceases. Hey, that's how it is out here. The godly, they ain't no godly men out here. They ceases. They, they think talking about the, the Bible, that's some bullshit. You know, that's, a, that's some all whack ass shit. But these people, they whack. It, it, it speaks against them. 
They got no interest in learning, no, no kind of knowledge. If you're talking about reading a book, they're going to look at you like you're stupid. Well, here's, they're actually, they're like, literally stupid. Like, literally retarded. Mental retards. What was that, Luke 24? Uh, 24, yeah, 25. <laughs> they slow a heart. Hey, that's a good chapter. That whole chapter part. I was doing some research on that. That's just funny, dude. They just show you the whole time about jokes. He got some he jokes on. He has a, a sinister sense of humor. My shit is acting up like a motherfucker. My girl look like uh, Rihanna. It says, for the faithful fell from among the children of men. Did the faithful fell from among the children of men? It ain't nobody got no faith out here. And people actually, they, everybody like talking about, oh, I believe in God, but how come you ain't gonna do the work? How come you not gonna teach the truth? Cause you're, cause you're full of shit, bro. That's why. Why well, say you love me, but do not the thing I say. They don't even know what he said. Yeah. They didn't want to take the exactly. time to read it. Exactly. They didn't want to listen to us. No, I gotta catch the bus, I gotta go. Right, perfect example, people last week, never read the whole Bible, but he's defending the church, you know? Yeah, he admitted he ain't never read the Bible, but he knows more than us. Yeah. What a fool, bro. Idiot. Yeah, an idiot. Hey. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart that they speak. Yeah, that's that fight. Everybody acts like they're friends with everybody, but they're ready to rob you blind. They see you drop your wallet, they picking it up and they have not telling you. They're going to keep it. Like, oh. That's the majority of people. Sorry for you. That's the majority. It could be your so-called close friend will see you drop your wallet and they'll keep it. Or they'll go to your house, see some money laying out, they're going to take it. You know what I mean? You can't trust these fools out here. Thieves. Thieves. Thieves, liars, adulterers, adult. Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? Your so-called so closest friends that can't wait till they get alone with your wife. You know? They, they ready to take you to have sex with your wife when you're going to work. That's why if somebody don't believe in this truth, you can't trust them. What's that, uh, what's that, uh, John, uh, we gonna hold that, but what's that, John 2 and 10? You can't, if somebody don't believe in the truth, you can't even let them in your house. And you go, if you do let them in your house, you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna wish you did. You're gonna wish you listened to us. Because really, we the only ones that have any kind of sense out here. These people out here, they got no sense. They got nonsense. Why right, he getting mad when you this Exodus 23 and 2? Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Yeah, they you quick know? to follow a multitude to do evil. You know? You've seen what the mass of the people do, they copy right after it, man. That, that domino effect. That domino effect, man. I remember years ago, my baby's mom, she, she was like, we need to have time apart. She's oh. like, everybody does it, it's normal. That's following that multitude to do evil. That, that left hand would've came, or right hook would've came that quick. For real. I mean, yeah, I praise the Lord for getting her out of my life. That's some shit, yeah, right. You that's know? some shit you better say to me on the fucking phone, bitch. <laughs> I yeah, felt that's her, a blessing, though. I felt doing, like, doing her like uh, Eminem, did, Eminem did that bitch Kim. Put her in the trunk, drive her off a bridge. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, you, you got an evil woman, bro. You got to get rid of her. She'll have you fucked. she have you fucked up. Yeah. Have you locked up and all kind of shit. Have you fallen out the truth? Yeah. Have you fallen out the truth? Die. I'd rather be single. Die. I'd rather be a lonely and single to meet with an evil ass woman. That nigga fell out the truth and moved to Florida with that bitch. With an evil ass bitch. Mm -hmm. You got you know how she used up. to look at us, man, when we went over there. She was a goblin. She looked like one of them. She was one of them big ass green goblins, like a like a big fat goblin. She was mean. Yeah, she was mean and evil. Yeah, she was mean. No kind of checking that bitch. What's that scripture that said? I'd rather dwell, Ecclesiastes 25, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a scorpion yeah. than keep house with a wicked woman. Yeah. Said, I'd rather live with a lion and a, a scorpion than with a wicked ass woman. Because, you know, you've been just fighting all day. You spent out half your day fighting and yelling. Thursday night, there was two bitches that got shot on Hudson, right? Damn. 
there has been a chain reaction for me for Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There were shootings, man, all in the same vicinity. You know what I'm saying? I'm a husband. It's probably a down effect. All the way, all the way. The last shooting I heard of was on Fifth Avenue, Fifth and St. Clair. Fifth and St. Clair. Who was the other one there? All of them was in the same vicinity, though. You know what I mean? Not yeah. far. It was probably just from them bitches getting shot. <laughs> retaliation, you know? Fucking retaliation. It was, hey, this weekend was full of bloodshed, man. This weekend was full of bloodshed. That's good, though. All because of these bitches, though. They starting all that shit. I mean, how many times you, have, you know, because your woman, it, it have you catching murder charges because you're going to catch somebody, catch somebody with your woman, you know? What are you going to do if you catch someone with fucking your woman? Ooh. You don't want to kill him. You see red, man. Now they're going to have you locked up because you're a wicked ass woman. You see red, man. You got me fucked up, bro. Yeah, you better, it got to be the spirit of the Lord with you to just let that shit go. Exactly. Woo. But the Lord is, he's with jealousy, right? Yeah. He's with jealousy. So if you choose to get a bat and just leave them bitches there, go from there bleeding to death, man, that's a good thing. I got to change my battery.